hello i will be installing awx on the centos 6.7 i'm using vagrant to do this exercise so first i will do an m update The same update will take a bit time. I will pause the video till then. Okay, now I will have to install the EPL repo because I want to. We will have to install the Python pip. You can you can see the uh, prerequisites on the on the GitHub of AWX. Okay. I will have to find out uh, the EPL repo name. Oh, yeah, I should uh, type like m install EPL hyphen release. So now I'll install the EPL repo. Okay, and now m install Python pip. For this demonstration, I will just install one one package at a time so that it is clear like what we are installing. Uh, okay, once I install this now, um, I will have to install uh, some of the like packages which are required like git um, and the docker and ansible. So let's uh, clone the AWX uh, from GitHub. So here are the installation guide which they have in their GitHub uh, repo. So this is the prerequisites. We also require note. So I already created the commands to install those. I'll just copy paste them. So we also require Ansible and Docker. So for now, let's go inside the AWX directory. Oh, before that, I need to disable the SLinux, or else it won't let me. Uh, it will let me start the AWX, but it won't let me use it. I'll get errors. So this asset info will set the current mode to permissive, as you see in the the terminal okay let's go into the AWX directory installer if you see in the inventory file if you want you have to reset the default username password okay most of them are commented out I will just ignore the hash so you can see your username and uh, default username default password we can use it for i will use it for the testing purpose but one important thing i will have to change is uh, the uh, ansible um, default uh, project directory so it's in the yeah project data directory this thing i have to uncomment uh, Now, oh, once everything is set, I just have to run Ansible. I think I have not installed it. Let me install it quickly. Yeah, install.
okay now let me run ansible playbook and the inventory is the inventory which, which will come up in the, with the aeroplex and then the install.ml okay i have deliberately not installed all the packages so that we install on the fly like uh, uh like we see the error and then i install it so that it's clear so we will require the pip like the docker docker for the python so pip install docker and it also requires um what do you call docker compose you can you will see it now it says no such file or directory oh okay i need to install docker I... yeah that's i need to install docker compose before that i think i need to install the docker docker is not available yeah. you need to check you can also check it's not in any directory there's no service let me just install it and install docker okay okay now that i've installed i'll run the playbook again before that i have to start the service okay Sorry. okay now you will see the error for the docker compose i will i will install it mm, pip install docker compose copy paste it okay okay now i rerun the ansible playbook again starting the container now what is happening is it's uh, it's trying to start the containers and it will start pulling the images uh, for uh, each service let me log in through other session no no content has started yet let's see it'll take some time it has to pull the images watch okay what i can see what can, what i can do is i can see whether the images are being downloaded Docker images. I see that we have AWS WebMQ, which is on the downloader. I think this still has to download the web and the other Docker images, which is which is required. Give it some time. Okay, now it says uh, downloaded AWS web. And also AWS task, AWS. Sorry. So now, since the it has also started the container, as you can see using Docker PSI So yeah, all the all the running, and the one which we are wrestling is on AP for all the interfaces. So okay, I think we are all good. I'll just to show how to see the logs of a Docker container. You can see this is the web for like the web interface docker log hyphen f and id still starting up i 
you get my address as well. Hey, I see. Hey, did you ask? So I can go. The service is not up. Back up. Okay, access ready. Let's give it some time. Uh, I, I am running a wow, lot of VMs on this machine. My system is overloaded. Maybe for you it might be quicker. Yes, my system is loaded. Uh, since initializing, I will pause the video for now and I will sh show the screen once uh, once the UI is up. The UI is up now. You can see admin and the default password is password. I logged in to the console, and this is the UI for the AWX Tower the console. Store. We have default uh, inventory. I will do a separate video for this, uh, how to set up the inventory, how to set up permission, how to set up groups, hosts, all those things. Thanks for watching. Thank you. If you like the video, please do subscribe and like and share. Thank you.